Hey, hey guys, here we are with the wise cam pan, okay, and uh, as you see it today here, I got an outside rain cover on it, and the front lip on it had been cut off, well, because I'm mounting it upside down, okay, and I, I didn't want it on the wall, you know, hanging way off on the outside, you know, down low, looking directly, I mean, it would be right there at like head height, and individuals would be able to see it very easily. So if, if you mount it upside down, well, you're figuring, okay, then this will be exposed here underneath to the elements, and you're 100% correct. So I made this. Simple, easy, fits over the top of it. Uh, as you can see here, I got a spot for the, for the cord to come through. Okay, cord comes through, clips on. Regardless of the fact, um, as I was mounting it, this had spun, and it has a limiter on it, okay? There are two fins and in the front here, okay? Okay, one, two. Some of them have just, just one, all right? But it, uh, what happens is when this boots up, it needs to know its rotational axis and where the limiters are. These are limiter fins in here, okay? Well, they're made out of thin, cheap plastic. And if you just, if it's all the way extended to as far, and it's turned off, okay, so it can't rotate itself back. If it's been extended all the way uh, to its limit and you just put a little pressure on it, you're going to hear it snap. All right. And what happens is when you do plug it in, it's going to spin around and around. It's not going to, and it's not going to know where it's at. Okay, it's not going to uh, be able to find its X, Y, or Z uh, axis anywhere. Okay, so it's a big problem. The camera will start going haywire on you. It'll glitch out. It'll throw the videos. Um, so I was going to take this apart, and I was going to remove the motherboard and, and, and everything here uh, and gain access to uh, underneath here. Okay, I was going to – actually, I put this here. I had already uh, tested this earlier. Um, I actually had it in the front and I had bent this rod as you can see to go, to go right over right around uh, I said a microphone and uh, uh, the night vision array that they have on there alright I had designed it to go around the front there but the, the fins weren't in the front Fins are in the back. So, I will show you here what happens when you boot it up. Give me one moment. All right, I stood it up. Now, let me plug it in. All right about this, guys? I'm trying to get it where you can see. I don't want to put it all the way over. Touching, okay. And look down, it's got light. Oh, let me plug it in a little more. Yep, that's a problem. Using one hand it isn't very good for this, but it is what it is. There, now it's in. And we got power. All right, guys, this, when it starts up, this spins clockwise, okay? So you want to have it on the left-hand side touching uh, your power cord here, okay? And you want to lower this all the way down, even further than that, closer. But that should be sufficient for, the, for just to show you guys how this works. Okay, it's going to come around, going to find it. It's going to come back around, find it, boom. Now it just found where it needs to be, it's positioned, you should be fine. Well, I hope I was able to help you guys out. Um, I know this was a big issue for me. You know, uh, I moved this camera I had in the back. Uh, I had another camera, you know, just a regular wise cam. I had that in the front. 
but I figured I, I wanted to be able to rotate around and see a little bit more of my front, okay? Uh, a little bit wider field of view. So I had swapped them and put this one in the front and that one in the back. And then, you know, you, you run into a whole new mess, a whole new array of issues. Uh, by okay, when the, when the lens tilts down, uh, after you rotated it 180 degrees within the app, okay, uh, when the lens tilts down, now it, it, it's catching this, okay, if it snows, I live here in Michigan, uh, or rains, snow or water can, can catch on this lip here, I had to cut that, these fins are great for weather, now it's tucked under an awning, but you guys know how it is when it, the wind blows sideways, it, it's, it's going to catch, it would have caught, okay, and like I said earlier, underneath here, as you can see now, where that would spin on, okay? And that's right here is where the cord will go. And it'd be supported even more. So every time it spins and checks, there's not a whole lot of pressure. Uh, this motor here uh, just so happens to have the pressure switch in it. Okay, and it can sense it. So it's not a whole lot of pressure it's gonna put. There's not, that motor's not very powerful. The gears inside of here are plastic and not very strong. So I hope I was able to help you guys. Um, it helps me out to fix my cam. I was gonna have to buy a new one. So with that being said, take it easy.